you must choose a romantic way to spend your afternoon. Where do you go? A. Dinner at my favorite restaurant. B. An afternoon trip to the forest. C. A nice walk on the beach. D. Someplace where I can see the sunset. You've just won an adventure trip, and you can take one person. Who do you pick? A. My sibling. B. My best friend. C. One of my co-workers. D. Someone I'm not close with so we can bond. Which of these couple cliches would you choose? A. Connecting keychains. B. Matching t-shirts. C. Connecting necklaces. D. Each other's picture as your phone wallpaper. Which of the character trait pairs describes you best? A. Introverted and passive. B. Ambitious and focused. C. Friendly and social. D. Outgoing and energetic. Which of these situations do you dislike the most? A. When people pressure me to do things I don't like. B. When someone interrupts me while I'm talking. C. When my friends flake on our plans at the last minute. D. When others talk about people behind their back. It's Thursday evening and you're hungry. What do you do? A. Look for recipes online and cook myself a meal. B. Shuffle through menus and order takeout. C. Go out to my favorite restaurant. D. Search for new places in the area and pick one to eat at. What's the best way to spend your Saturday night? A. Binge watching my shows or catching up on my reading. B. Inviting some friends over to play games. C. Going to the movies and then grabbing a bite. D. Going clubbing with a few of my friends. Which of these places would you choose to live? A. A small, cozy cabin in the mountains. B. A house or apartment in a big city. C. A spacious place in the suburbs. D. Anywhere near the beach. Which of the following is impossible to tolerate? A. Wearing shoes in my house. B. Having to wear jeans while I'm chilling on the couch. C. Sleeping with my socks on. D. Finding single socks in the dryer. How many friends do you have? A. Just one or two really close ones. B. Very few close buddies and many acquaintances. C. A handful of friends. D. It's hard to keep count. You invite someone on a first date. Where do you take them? A. My favorite coffee shop. B. A museum to talk about our tastes in art. C. Somewhere fun and active, like a rock climbing gym. D. A comedy night or a karaoke place to loosen up. On how many dates have you been on in the last year? A. 1 to 5. B. 6 to 20. C. More than 20. D. I've lost count. What do you think of Valentine's Day? A. It's too commercial. B. It's okay, can take it or leave it. C. It reminds me that I'm forever alone. D. It's awesome, I love it.
What's the ideal romantic gift your partner could give you? A. A handmade album filled with our photos. B. A nice gesture based on things we've talked about or our inside jokes. C. Something useful and not decorative. D. Good old box of chocolates, flowers, and cards. You must attend an event, but you don't want to go alone. What's your excuse? A. Put my phone on, do not disturb, and be done with it. B. Say I'm super busy with work and can't make it. C. Reply with, something urgent came up, I'll explain later. D. If I have to be there, I'll be there, no excuses. How do you feel in large crowds? A. Can't stand them. B. I don't think about them. C. Depends on how close I am to the crowds and if it's too hot. D. I love it. Feels like I'm with a bunch of friends. Do you have a crush on someone right now? A. Not really. B. Not right now, but I get crushes all the time. C. I think I'm getting one. D. Absolutely. Why do your close friends come to you? A. For deep discussions about everything for hours. B. To talk with someone about their problems. I'm a good listener. C. For advice and someone to comfort them in difficult times. D. I'm their go-to partner in any activity. I'm up for anything. Which of these things will be the hardest for you to give up? A. My cozy apartment. B. My phone, laptop, all my electronics. C. My freedom. D. My money. What's the most valuable thing for you right now? A. Success. B. My time. C. My friends and family. D. Happiness. Which is your best character trait? A. My sense of humor. B. My compassion and understanding of others. C. My friendliness. D. My openness to new experiences. You see someone very attractive on the street. What do you do? A. Secretly watch them, and once they see me, I'll turn my eyes down. B. Smile at them while going past, but keep walking. C. Smile and wink at them for fun. D. If they look back and smile, I'll start a conversation. Do you talk to your friends about your relationships? A. No, I prefer to keep that kind of thing to myself. B. Yes, I like knowing what they think of my personal life. C. Depends. When we talk about relationships, I share my experiences. D. A little bit. Only the important stuff. Imagine getting an anonymous love message on your phone. What's your first thought? A. It's a prank. Don't respond. B. Someone's following me and I'm secretly panicking. C. No time to think. I immediately call one of my friends to discuss it. D. Hmm, who could it be? Do you open up to others easily? A. Hardly ever, only if they can help me. B. Only if I know them well enough to talk about personal stuff. C. I'm usually an open book. D. It depends on my mood and the conversation I'm having. What types of people do you attract? A. The nerdy type. 
B. Creative types, like artists. C. People who are caring and protective. D. Friendly and adventurous people. You've just won $20 million. What do you spend it on? A. Pay off my debt and decide what to do with the rest later. B. Help myself and then give it to charity. C. Shopping spree with my friends and family. D. Traveling the world. You have an entire weekend to yourself. How do you spend it? A. Stay in, relax, maybe play some video games. B. I'm inviting my friends over for a small, quiet get-together. C. I'd throw a two-day party. D. Leave the house and go to places I've never been in my town. Which season do you prefer? A. Winter B. Spring C. Summer D. What's left? Oh yeah, fall! What's your biggest flaw? A. I'm so shy that I struggle to stand up for myself. B. I'm losing touch with reality and I'm forgetful. C. I can be controlling at times. D. I say the first thing that pops in my head without thinking. Time for your results! If you have more A's, you aren't 100% ready to meet your soulmate right now. You just need to have a little more fun and tie up some loose ends. Mostly B's mean you could meet your other half at the end of this year or the beginning of the next. You'll probably bump into them physically. That'll be a fun story to tell. If you got a ton of C's, it could happen within the next few weeks or months. You'll likely meet your soulmate online through social media, or maybe a forum where you'll talk about the things that interest you both. If you came out with mostly D's, you've already met your other half, you just haven't realized it yet. They could be a close friend or someone you work with. You just need to look closer and see the signs. Good luck with that!